Okay, we're into the chorus. Now this is the bit, this is the part of the song that everybody's interested in. It's got this legendary bass line, it's kind of a bubbling Jacko trademark really. Um, it's full of little dead notes, the timing in it is just impeccable, it's spot on. Uh, I'll play it slowly and, and then I'll play it up to speed. You'll notice when I play it slowly you can hear the dead notes. They make a lot more sense when you actually bring it up to speed. Um, and these little, these little dead note parts are, are fairly important to the way the whole thing sounds. Now played slowly, it kind of sounds, sounds a little bit lumpy, but when you play it up to speed, it should flow. What we've got here is a D, so we've run up from the C up to the D. The D going up to, that's fret 5 on your A string, up to fret 7 on your D string, and fret 5 on your G string. So we've got a D, an A, and a C. So when we hit the A here on fret 7, we've got two notes. Back down to 7. We've got two Bs there, so we get this. So that's fret 4 on your G string. Back to the A. We've got two notes on that as well. Actually, one of these notes could be a dead note. So we end up with that. Now you can either play the dead note on the D, or you can play it on the A. Yeah, either way, as long as you get this noise. And then we're down to the A. And what we've got here is fret 5 on the A. And then a dead note. So we've got 5, 7, dead note, 2 notes on the C sharp, which is fret 4 on the A. So we get this. Again, up to speed, it makes more sense. So we have this. That's what I've shown you so far. The second half of this bass line. Okay, two ways of playing this. You can actually play two notes on each of these, or you could play it this way. So I'm hammering the second of each notes. Depends which one you prefer and which one you think he's doing. Or um, I'll show you I'll show you both anyway. We start with exactly the same bass line. So after you've played the previous line, we play the same thing again. And then it differs here by we're going up to fret 7 of your G string. We've got an open D, almost as a dead note, coming down on fret 4 of your D string, across to fret 4 as your G string. quite a short note there and then we've got this little run up either playing it this way or fretting every note and that would be from F sharp G G sharp A that's four five six and seven on your uh, D string 
And again, it's this hand that you're going to find quite tricky. Um, remember this thing called the rest stroke? With this hand, it's where when you play a note, your finger comes to rest on the string underneath. Hopefully you can see that. So it just gives you a nice consistent hit on each string. It's called the rest stroke. Uh, that makes up kind of the first riff. I'll, I'll play it to you again slowly. Okay, that's as far as we've got. I can, that's kind of a complete four bar section of that bass riff. Okay, the next section, we're hitting this D again, playing the same shape. Same feel as the first time we play it. Playing the D again. And we're stopping on the A here. And then the interesting bit is where it links into the next riff. So what we've got there is after we've hit this A, we're going to shift across with our third finger and hit on the ninth fret of your E string. Same, same principle as, as we played before, so it's 9, 10, Either a dead note or an open A will work. Up to seven and eight on your A string. Nine, ten, seven, open eight. And then we're gonna play the same shape as we played down on the D riff. And I'll give you those fret gnomes. So that's fret A, fret 10, on your D string, fret 8 on your G string, back to 10 on your D string, fret 7 on your G string, back down to 10 on your D. Yep, that's basically going to link them back, link you back into this main bass riff. By doing this at the end. So we're starting on fret seven and we're running into that bass line that's in the verses. Seven, eight, nine, ten and eight on your G string. Back to ten on your D. So seven, eight, nine, ten on your D. And that is the beginning of the next bass line. In and then you need to get across here to play with your little finger to play. So that's fret 11 with your little finger as we did before to play the bass riff from there. It's a bit tricky to play that bit as well. And we're into the main part. I'll play that again for you. So I'll play it from the link where it changes key. So hopefully you've got all those notes. Playing it up to speed is uh, a little bit tricky, but the, the key to it is to get these notes nice and clear at a, at a lower, slower tempo. And then when you slowly notch it up, it'll work. <laughs> 